Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how we can submit our RNSIC data as SRA submission into NCBI database. So first of all, we have to log in into NCBI. So we will uh, use registration option, although we can use ORC ID options or using our own email options. Then first of all, we should register a bio project so i will show you how we can register a bio project then we have to register our bio samples so we have to register all bio samples for all of our treatment so as many as we have treatments let's suppose if we have six treatments of rnasic data so then uh, we will register we have to register six bio samples so then using by this bio project and six bio samples so we will uh, submit our raw data that is usually in the form of FASTA formats. So then we will submit that raw data as SRA submission and we will finish our RNSIC data. So let's begin. So now let's first before we register a project, let's uh, try to log in and uh, we can use any of these options so as i have already registered so i can directly log in so if you do not have already registered so you can first register and then from these options here you can see we here we can also uh, submit the our samples so then you can go to my submissions options and first here uh, we know that first of all we have to submit our bio project so when you will click on bio project you will see it will ask you to uh, first fill the metadata and some information which will be used by all of previous data like bio project or bio sample or SRI data so all of these information would be failed at all the steps so then you can click on the manage data so it will yeah from here there are the template options and my profile so in this my profile you can fill the mandatory field so let me quickly fill out my own so here you can give email and name of your own and your institution and name similarly uh, yeah you can also fill out the necessary options like the city and the province and you can also write the department information It is good if you fill all this information in the my profile option so that it will be used as such in all of the next processes so we don't have to fill again and again all. So here now our profile is completed. So now we can go back again to my submissions. and now let's begin formally with our bio project submission so when now you will click on the bio project so when you will start with new submission so you can see here what we have filled in our uh, my profile data so it will be automatically used here So we can simply just go ahead from the project type we can select what we have to fill in. From here we can choose like mono isolates from here whatever you want to use you can because now we are submitting our raw reads of mono isolates then we can select and process from here we have to select the scientific name of our organism because for my case it's Oreza sativa samples so from here i will select Oreza sativa 
although all of these informations are not necessary because here we can see there is no star but it is good if you can fill all of this information so here you can write a small description of this which will be available to the public whoever will go to this bio project id so this description will be available for public so let me write one sentence so you can also modify according to your own demand yeah this bio project contains six samples of rna sick data of wild 3 from wild type and actually 3 from my mutant and my mutant name is APA1331 this should be just a small description with by the help of this so that anyone can identify that this bio project belongs to which study so from here you can now go to next and from here you can select its release date whether you want to release it immediately or you want to hold on until your publications accepted so for my case i will release it immediately because it doesn't matter my manuscript is already under review so uh, here i can write again the public information and let me copy the previous one yeah from here i have just copied that information and in the journal information i can just paste that one here so now from horizon oh, set from six centimeter stage of panicle one yeah uh, here we will give little more explanation that this data belongs to which samples like I mean which samples were used for this RNA sick data and from the relevance its relevance is related to agriculture no with this it is not belong to any larger initiative and all of these external links because here we can see there is no static sign so we we don't need to fill all these informations and we can simply go on and click with continue and from here bio samples because so far we didn't didn't register bio samples so we can leave it as such From here, if your publication is already published, you can write its PubMed ID or DOI, that is Digital Object Identifier. And now you can review and try to submit. If you need to change, you can go back. But uh, here, I will not change. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, raw reads title and it's fine. So let me submit. So here we can see our bio project is submitted and now it is a waiting process. Although uh, it will not take so long, but sometime depending upon the time, it may take up to few minutes to few hours. So you can go and refresh and check back whether this bio project is submitted or not. And you can check your email also uh, as the, that project will be published. So you will receive your email that your bio project is published so here you can see it has been successfully processed so and uh, you have received uh, accession number so our step first step 
of RNA-seq data that was bioproject submission is now completed. So uh, now we can move to our next uh, process that is actually the bio -sub sample submission. So now, uh, although we can later on manage data, I mean, if you want to make any changes, you can also email to uh, NCBI staff. They can also make some changes if needed. So, but once a, once any bio project or bio sample is processed, you cannot make any further changes. So, from the bio samples, uh, this is our second step. So now we can click on that and similarly that what information we have filled so it will be used here as well. So now uh, from the general information uh, you can select the whether you will select one by one or batch sample because my samples are not enough so uh, they are only six so it is also recommended if your samples are not enough so you can also register one by one and from here you can select that what actually data type you are because my data type is related to plants so you can also submit according to your own species so from here you can choose a species and now we can click on continue uh, so from here we can select our uh, bio sample name so because i have six samples so the first sample would be wild type number one and from here we have to select our organism that is oriza sativa and we have to also select the isolate and cultivar and the ecotype it is although uh, not mandatory uh, but uh, you can uh, it is better if you can provide all the information so cultivar uh, is actually it's the, actually not the mutant name it is wild type and eco type name is ishiang 1b so actually it, it is a maintainer line of rice from where we obtained and we can also mention that which development stage we have used for our NSIC data and uh, yeah actually we have used six centimeter stage of panicle development and uh, yeah here it is tricky you can write the geographic information like chandu uh, this is actually uh, where i am living so although uh, you can write as such with the comma but if there would be any changes needed so the system will give you a suggestion to change the data according to the demand yeah from here you can see what we have to write you can read that note so first uh, it's actually Chandu would be let me change the first should be the province name and uh, then we can write like Chandu China so uh, we can select what tissue we have used. We have actually used panicle in fluorescence. So I can write panicle tissue and other information may be not needed. So we can click on continue. Oh, here, uh, warning, uh, we will automatically change. Yeah, it's fine. They have actually changed China into Sichuan Chandu. So it uh, they will automatically change all of this information for us so we can change manually if we need it yeah so we have to just enter because for all for all the next uh, biosample we can copy 
from here next we will just copy so here existing bio project because we already at the step one we have registered a bio project so that id we can mention here so let me enter that bio project id yeah this one we just registered here so we can enter that information here yeah now we can click on continue and the description so sample type from here we can tell what was the public dis description you want to give for this information because actually this sample belong to the wild type and uh, treatment number one so you can write wild type one six centimeter panicle or apical tissues of panicle and you can click on continue from here now can you, you review your information if any changes needed you can otherwise you can submit so similarly you will receive email uh, soon after the submission so now we can see our bio sample is submitted so after one minute we can just refresh so we will see whether it is processed or not so if it will be processed then we have to enter all of our information of each treatment like we were we have six samples like we have three samples of wild type and three samples of uh, mutant type so you can enter all of information one by one like this so uh, i will not show you how we will complete uh, all the six samples because all have the same process so here our first bio sample is processed so now we will enter the remaining five bio samples so just we have to replace the name like wild type one we will replace that in case of wild type two so let me quickly finish this all of bio samples and show you uh, then i will take you to the step three that is the sra submission now here i can show you our bio project and uh, six bio samples one two three four five and six they are already uploaded so now we will move to our last step that is sra so when you will click on sra a new tab will open so here you can see that uh, you can add sequence read archive data with new submission so as i have already finished this so you will start your own as new submission but here i have already saved this data uh, so i can show you one by one how i did so uh, on the first tab when you will click on this yeah here this is the first submitter file i mean when you will click on this so it will ask you uh, to give the submitter information so as in the bio project and bio samples we have provided our basic information so it will automatically fetch like the first name last name and email and your organization and department so you can click on continue so after that you need to fill the journal information and uh, here you can see uh, here is the bio project and uh, did you already register the bio project as we know we have already registered bio project and here we have just mentioned that bio project number and uh, have you already registered all of our bio samples as i have already told because previously i have shown you that we have registered one bio project and uh, one bio uh, six bio samples 
so it, it will ask you when you want to release this to the public so if you want to release immediately you can click on this so and it, but if you want to hold on and don't want to show until your publications so then you can click on this so i will release immediately so you can click on continue so uh, the third tab is sra metadata so it is very important and uh, uh, we should uh, carefully fill this information so here this is the biosample accession number of six what we have already here i can show you uh, these six samples like one two three four five six so you can see i have filled all one two three four five six so in biosample accession number so the first one you have to fill and the remaining you can just track and in the library id you can see that the first three is wild type three and the last three are the actually my mutant name apa 1331133232 so here you can add like the title so i have like here i have added wild type 1 rna sica for as a sativa actually it is 6 cm panicle stage so you can also do like this so and from here you can uh, select what you are doing so i have done rna sic data from the library source you can select the transcriptomic and from the library selection you can select the pcr and uh, similarly uh, like this you can select the library layout uh, what is the meaning of this layout here you can choose a uh, paired or single end i have choose paired and why because here you can see i have actually the six raw data files but each one is i uh, each one is done by the company in the paired way i mean like the r1 and r2 so actually this is the actually 12 raw data files but actually uh, there are totally the 12 uh, samples but each one is replicated twice so if uh, you have replicated so then uh, you can choose here the paired one but if you have only the six raw data file then you can choose here the single one like here uh, you can choose single if you have only 12 uh, if you have only uh, six so uh, in the platform uh, you can choose that i have also chosen alumina and uh, from the which instrument model because i you can use use your own so i have used alumina high sequencing uh, to 500 platform and uh, this is the sample uh, description so as you know here you can manually just put and drag down that this is the samples of wild type at six centimeters and like the file types you can select here the file this is the first acute flop file format so uh, here uh, while filling the name of uh, the files you you should know that these files should be exactly name as you have your raw data files so i will show you on my folder that i have exactly these name i mean there should be not even a dot or the spelling mistakes so like here wild type 1 wild type 2 wild type 3 so each one is replicated twice so this is the mutant type and because this was the paired end so i have uploaded the 12 files so uh, if you are using the, just the single uh, library layout then you will only write here 6 so because this one and uh, this the wild type 1 and wild type uh, 1 r1 and r2 belongs to the same so that is why i just uploaded in parallel fashion so you you don't need to upload this r2 here actually because this one and this one is same so you can just upload them in the parallel way and the uh, next step we can just continue so here are the files so there are the different uh, ways to upload the files so uh, among them uh, you i have uh, even you can use like uh, if your data is less than 
like 10 GB, then you can manually choose these files or draw, drag and drop service. Uh, you can also like here, I can show you my data. Like here, you can see my data is belonging to this pro project and here I have 12 files. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, uh, as I have already mentioned, I have exactly named these files as I have already uploaded in the SRA metadata file. So, uh, you can also use this option if your data is less than 10 GB. But if your uh, data is more than 10 GB, then it is recommended to use FTP server. So, how you can use FTP ser server? So by the FTP server, like here, I will show you here is FTP server, like the F, uh, FileZilla client. So this FileZilla client, you can simply just search on the Google, you can download this software. And how you can uh, run this and how you can upload this folder here. So let me show you the way uh, we can go back. And uh, here, like FTP server upload, a, so here is the address you can simply copy this address and paste this address into filezilla like here that address and here should be the username so you can go back and copy the, this username and uh, yeah just copy paste and now you can just use this copy and uh, paste and uh, finally you just need to upload this uh, link in the paste you can simply just copy this one as well and uh, you can simply first try to quick connect so when you will quick connect you will see here a remote site so when the here like in your suit now now you can approach to your remote site so that link which i copied you can paste here and simply click enter so when you will click enter you can see here my folder is already shown so uh, from here you can like here this is my rnsic data and this is pro this is that folder which i i have already saved so here i can show you again uh, let me show you in my yeah like this folder this folder i i have saved 12 all files on my computer so this one how i upload it so when you will click on this folder so it will open all of your 12 files so when you will double click on this so it it will just like uh, let me show you this so you can see this is uploading and connecting so because I don't need to connect so I will stop as I have already uploaded so let me uh, delete from there so here you can see that uh, file folder is already uploaded so you can see this all 12 files are already uploaded so simply uh, I can just finish and go back so I can select my preload folder so I will select that's that preloaded folder you can see that folder is already here and you can click on this so you can see here all the files can be seen there are 12 files so you can see use selected folder now you can see that folder is selected with 12 files and you can simply click on auto submission and continue if the all the files are okay to be submitted so we can see the processing has been done and now we can see the sequence read archive submission this is actually awaiting for processing so soon it will you will receive your submission we can see here all the one two three four five six all the samples with 12 files have been uploaded so we can go back to our submissions and check whether 
it has been processed because we can see here it is now awaiting processing so uh, because I have chosen uh, to make it public as soon as possible so it will not take more than five minutes and it will be available to the public so here let me yeah we can see now the status is processing